All righty. We're back with another Let's Play. We are going to do Leisure Suit Larry in the Land of the Lounge Lizards. Redone in VGA. This is the very first Leisure Suit Larry. Um, of course, a remake version. I figured I would at least give you guys some better graphics. Uh, this game is about fucking bitches. So if you're not about fucking bitches, go ahead and close the fucking video and go watch some King's Quest or some fag videos or something. Because this game is about getting laid. Let's go ahead and get it on, bitch. First, we've got to get past the gay copy protection, which is totally fucking annoying. Leisure Suit Larry in the Land of the Lounge Wizards contains some elements of plot which may not be considered appropriate for some of you viewers. I have no fucking idea because I wasn't born in the 70s, you dumb fuck. Good guess. Another good guess. Here we are. Laser suit looking fucking mighty fantastic. We have 222 possible points here. Let's go check out the bar. This fucking music is entirely way too loud, dude. That's better. Take a seat at the bar, the only available bar stool here talk to the bartender, see what his dumb ass is up to. There we go. Alright, that's taste. We got walk, look, use, hand, feel, fuck, talk, that's fuck, that's my zipper, and smell or taste. So we'll talk. You greet the bartender with a friendly, Hello! What it'll be? Lefty responds. Well, let's see here. Um, we'll take a whiskey. I'll have a glass of your fine well whiskey, you tell Lefty. That'll be five dollars, please. You flip five bucks onto the counter. You don't drink the whiskey, but instead decide to carry it with you wherever you go, precariously balanced in an open shot glass. Fantastic. Let's go check out this opening over here. That is one drunk bastard right there. See a little rose over here. We'll go ahead and take that. We'll talk to this drunk bastard here. Hi, Slully. How about you and have me a little drink? Charlie, how about you, man? Have a little drink. All right, so I guess he doesn't say much more than that. He probably would like some whiskey, though. So we'll give him some whiskey. Ah, that shit is all smug. You know, it just must be about a friend the whole while, so. I'm gonna give you my only possession. 
My only possession. My only possession. My only possession. I got into a whole wall. Sorry, sorry, snark, snark. Besides, what's a guy like me gonna need with television remote control, say? So I give, I give this shit to y'all. All right, now we have the television remote. If any of you can best me on my drunk guy portrayal, I will suck your dick. Because that shit will spot the fuck on. Check out the B room. Right, and of course, like most bathrooms, we have graffiti all over the walls. Lefty's restroom wall is filled with clever reading material, enough for you to read for a long, long time. Scott, beam me up, beam me. Attention arcade game players, please don't eat the urinal cakes. It takes leather balls to play rugby. Say, here's an interesting one. The password is Ken sent me. You decide to write it down and take it with you wherever you go. A guide never knows when a good password will come in handy. All right. So, now we have a password. Let's go check out what's in the sink here. You quickly wash your hands and then realize there are no paper fucking towels. Try to look in the sink. Why look, some woman removed her diamond ring to wash her hands and forgot to take it with her. We'll take that. Got it! You briefly consider an attempt to find the ring's owner, but return the, your normal self and pocket it instead. Good idea, Larry. Good fucking idea. And we'll go and take a shit. You grab an ancient copy of the Ball Street Dur Journal and settle in to sit and think. Feel a great relief. Nice. What's that aroma? God damn it smells in here like a Taco Bell bathroom. Alright, so we're done with our shit ski. Carefully you finish your duties. You wipe and toss the newspaper behind the toilet for the next user. Um, one thing you probably don't want to do is flush, because it will fucking flood the bathroom and you will die. It's pretty funny, but we're not going to do it. Jealous son of dying edge? God damn! Nonchalantly scrape it off. You rap loudly on the Naga High door. Yeah, what's the password? That would be Ken sent me. The password is Ken sent me, dickhead. You whisper through the open people. Come on in! Oh, now that's a pimp bloke right there. Let's uh, use a remote control on the TV and see what we can find. You hang your remote control at the pimp's TV with the power switch. Oh, John. Oh, Marsha. Oh, John. Oh, Marsha. Oh, John. Oh, Marsha. Oh, John. Oh, Marsha. Oh, Another boring soap opera. The pimp seems vaguely interested in this program, but not interested enough to leave his post guarding the stairs. You hand the remote control of the TV and click the channel selector. Hello, friend. This is your old buddy, Tim Benjamin from Motown 69. If you're driving down the highway of life towards the old lost wages, 
and Mr. Sleep is sitting up on the dashboard throwing dust in your eyes. Another boring commercial. And now, a low production is proud to present the revenge of the software developers in full color and stereo sound. No, thanks. While Jim is fighting for his life with a raging female rhinoceros in heat, I'll slip into my tent with the native girl in this picture of my ties. Next. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. <laughs> 